parachute saves lives. That title is not a clickbait. And I'm gonna tell you why. Just two days ago, we had another plane crash where the pilot decided to pull the parachute. Now, I'm not sure when this video is gonna come out, but two days ago was Friday, and we had a Cirrus jet go down in Indiana right after takeoff. A Cirrus SF-50 jet was involved in a crash early two days ago. From what we know, the pilot was just taken off and had some engine problems. According to reports, the airplane was in a stall attitude and then the pilot decided to pull the parachute. Because guess what? If you're stalling the airplane, you could try to correct it, but if you don't have a lot of altitude to your benefit, there's really nothing you can do. So the pilot decided to pull the chute and guess what? He got down safely. And I know people connected to this particular situation and they confirmed to me that the pilot is doing okay. I'm sure the FAA and the NTSB will do their thing and they'll find out exactly what happened. But so far, the good news is the pilot is doing good. The airplane may be another story, but nobody died in this crash. This may be the first real life scenario where a parachute has saved life in a jet particularly the Cirrus jet, which is a fairly new aircraft. Now, there's some pilots who hate the idea of having a parachute on board. It's crazy to me. We've had this tool for at least a decade now in the civilian world, but there are pilots out there who would rather have an aircraft without a parachute for their own justification, which we'll talk about a little bit. I'm pro parachute, by the way, but I'm also gonna share my opinion why I think it's important because I do believe it saves lives if you know how to use it properly. So let's go a bit down history lane. The first time parachutes were actually commercialized in personal aircraft was through Cirrus. Before Cirrus, I didn't know of any manufacturer who said, hey, we're gonna have a parachute on the aircraft standard. Cirrus was the first aircraft to do this and it's also why so many people run towards this aircraft, even though it's one of the most expensive single engine aircraft in the entire world. The Cirrus SR-22 costs you a million dollars, and yet this aircraft still outsells just about any other aircraft in the same class. There's a reason why. One is because Cirrus gets a lot of new pilots, so brand new pilots who've never flown an aircraft before, and they use the parachute as a big selling point. Now, unfortunately, in the beginning of Cirrus with the SR-22, you had a lot of fatal crashes with this aircraft, and it had a parachute on board. There were several reasons for this, but Cirrus has since corrected that problem. Early on, what Cirrus found out was their pilots, one, was fairly new, but also they didn't have the proper training to using this parachute. And then you also had a lot of new pilots who thought they can do whatever they want and parachute is going to save them, except they weren't trained on how to use this parachute. This is why you had several fatal crashes with the Cirrus aircraft early on. But over the years, Cirrus has since corrected this issue where they train their pilots properly and this parachute on board also requires maintenance. It can be an expensive option. Like I said, a Cirrus SR-22 in this market will cost you north of a million dollars. You do have other aircraft where you can get a parachute that costs you a lot less. Now let's talk about the pilots who still say no to a parachute. So even in my world where I fly an experimental four-seater aircraft that has a parachute on board, we've had owners and builders of this same aircraft who tell you, I don't want a parachute because I want my useful load, and I don't wanna to have to spend the extra money. Now, here's my response to that. Yes, having a parachute will cost you more money in getting the parachute and also in maintaining that parachute. And maybe you might pay some to, to train, but really, there's really no training. Most of the training is knowledge, knowing the proper time to use the parachute. And in my opinion, there is no proper time to use a parachute. If you find yourself in trouble, I don't care how up far up you are, even if you're at low altitude, which was the case with this Cirrus jet, it wasn't at high altitude, pull that thing if you have the option to do so. But also parachute or having one on board will cost you the weight. And this is what a lot of pilots just turn their nose on. Like, no, I need my space. I need to save the weight on the aircraft so I'm not going to want to spend the extra money and then lose some useful load. If you're planning, to have your extra useful load. What I personally believe, and I've discussed this on the channel before, is that 
a lot of pilots and owners, you only fly yourself most of the time. That's been my experience. That's what I've seen just about across the board. Rarely do you have pilots and owners who fly with friends and family, especially if you're flying for business. Oftentimes, it's just you in that airplane. So this argument of having more useful load, this is dead weight for the most part because you may not actually use that extra useful load. And then in terms of maintenance, what you're really doing is you have to have the parachute inspected and repackaged. I believe Cirrus has a program for this. And if you fly an experimental aircraft, that's something you just have to take care of on your own. But the number one reason why I think you should consider having a parachute on board is just safety. There are some scenarios where perhaps you could land the airplane safely and parachute is your last resort. But there are other scenarios where your only option is to pull that thin. For example, we've heard of a mid-air collision where between a Cirrus and another aircraft, but guess what? The Cirrus was able to pull the chute and they got down safely compared to the other aircraft. Say if you get in a mid-air collision right now in a Piper Cherokee or any other vintage or traditional aircraft, guess what? There's nothing you can do if you hit somebody or hit another aircraft in mid-air. But with a Cirrus or any aircraft with a parachute on board, if you were to get in a mid-air collision now, depending on where you're hit, because I remember the, the crash that happened a few years ago with the Cirrus, it basically clipped the wing of the Cirrus, but again, they were able to pull the parachute and land safely. So in my humble opinion, if you can afford to have a parachute in your aircraft, you should definitely opt in to get a parachute in your aircraft. It's just a safety tool that you hope that you never use, but just like in anything else, life happens, things happen that are outside of your control. Even if you have the perfect flight plan, the airplane might want to do something different. The weather, the environment might want to do something different. Another aircraft might want to do something different. And you would rather have that parachute on board than not. That is my humble opinion. Opt in for the parachute if you can afford it. That's my spiel for today. I hope you got something from it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And also, I'm curious if you fly an airplane with a parachute or not. And also, if you think having a parachute is a good thing or if it's unnecessary, I want to know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike. Make sure you subscribe if this is your first time and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.